Representative of the Chief of the Defense Staff, the Representative of the Inspector General of Police, the Force Commander, the Chief Fire Officer, Sam Kindo, the Director General of Gambia Immigration Department, Mr. Ibrahim Mbom, the Director General of Gambian Prison Services, the Representative of the Principal of the School of Nursing, Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is with a great pleasure that I stand before you today to welcome you to the Economic Pink October celebration in the Gambia. As we gather here this morning, we stand united to raise awareness of breast cancer, this Pink October initiative. The Pink October serves as a reminder of the importance of early detection, regular screening, and access to adequate health care for all individuals. Breast cancer is a disease that affects millions of individuals worldwide. Its impact is felt by millions of families, communities, and society as a whole. It is crucial that we come together to show our support and solidarity with those who are fighting this battle and to raise awareness about the importance of preventive measures and early detection. 0.5 to 1% of the male population 
are also at risk of contracting breast cancer. The statistics suggest that out of every 100 men in this auditorium, one is at risk of contracting breast cancer, and that could be you. Hence the call for the involvement of the male counterpart in the breast cancer care campaign. Through events such as Pink October, we can spread the message of hope, strength and resilience to all those who have been affected by breast cancer. This morning, as we launch Pink October, let us not only show our support to those affected by breast cancer, but also commit ourselves to taking action to improve access to healthcare, promote early detection and provide support in a united mission to fight against the disease and to ensure that all individuals have access to resources and support they need. To achieve this, the awareness campaign has been disseminated into the economic area of operation. The campaign will commence on Monday with a campaign from Bakau through Banju, Bara, Yundun, Brekama General Area, and to the Pony Area. On Monday, 7th October, there will be lectures and screening for personnel of the Mission Headquarters, Economic Mission Headquarters, Economic Force Headquarters, and the Gambian Armed Forces personnel at Bakau. On Tuesday, 8th of October, the campaign drive will arrive in Banju, where we will have screening and lectures for the General Headquarters and the Gambian Armed Forces staff. All personnel of the police will also be tested at the police hospital. The immigration personnel will also be tested at the police hospital. The fire and rescue services personnel will be at the fire hospital. The prisons will not be left out as we will have tests for prison staff and inmates of the prison service. The various economic contingents will also be coordinating these activities in their respective area of operations with the various Gambian Defense and Security Forces who are with them. However, it is worth knowing that the civilian population will not be left out. On 12 October, which is Saturday, the Esau Government Hospital is going to do tests from 10 o'clock to 2 p.m. for civilians at the Esau and Barra General Area. On Thursday, 17 October, the new Yundum Health Center will also be a place for our civilian police where they will have the tests needed. On that same day, at the Brekama Government Hospital, there will be tests also for civilian population. In the last week of October, that is 24th October, the Fonny region will also have tests at the Gwem Government Hospital for the general population and will also have vantage points closer to our civilian population to have the test. Sequel to this, we entreat all to take active part in the campaign and to encourage our troops to actively participate in all these endeavors. Thank you all for joining in this awareness campaign this morning. May the event inspire us to make a difference in the lives of the good people of the Gambia. Thank you very much. Boss Commander, representatives of various service chiefs, the ECOMIC Deputy Force Commander, the representative of the Principal of the School of North Nursing, the ECOWAS National Officer, representative from QCEL, officers and men of officers and men and women of the Gambia Armed Forces and ECOMIC, members of the media, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. <laughs> I'm delighted to be here today at this inauguration of the 2024 Pink October Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign by ECOMI in partnership with the Gambia Defense and Security Forces. This initiative underpins the fact that the peacekeeping mission is dedicated to the well-being of the communities we serve beyond our mandate. Despite our emphasis on keep peacekeeping, 
the ECOBIC mission acknowledges that genuine peace is not solely the absence of conflict, but also the presence of health, dignity, and equal opportunities for all. It is imperative to bear in mind that health is a fundamental component of a productive and harmonious society. Thus, this campaign is consistent with our overarching objectives of ensuring the welfare of our soldiers, the personnel of our sister security forces, the communities we serve, and their loved ones. The World Health Organization initiated the Global Breast Cancer Initiative at the outset of the decade, acknowledging breast cancer as a public health concern over the past few decades. The goal is to prevent 2.5 million breast cancer fatalities globally between 2020 and 2040 by reducing global breast cancer mortality by 2.5% per year. Health promotion for early detection, timely diagnosis, and comprehensive breast cancer management comprise the three pillars of this initiative. On the basis of these tenets, the global response to breast cancer has made substantial progress, resulting in enhanced treatment and heightened awareness of the significance of early detection. However, we continue to encounter obstacles, particularly in areas with restricted healthcare access and where stigma discourages individuals from seeking assistance. Here in the Gambia, breast cancer is the second most prevalent form of cancer, with a mortality rate exceeding 50% as at 2020. That means that half of the people who get breast cancer die from it. The all-age prevalence stands at 11.25 per 100,000 100, population. Given these staggering statistics, it is crucial to implement comprehensive awareness campaigns to address the adverse attitudes towards breast cancer screening and treatment if we are to make a headway in our fight against the scourge. In our roles as peacekeepers and ambassadors of change, it is our duty not only to maintain peace, but also to advocate for improved access to healthcare and education on critical issues such as breast cancer. The Pink October campaign serves as a reminder that we are more powerful when we work together. In this spirit, I urge all of us, security personnel, civilian staff, and local communities to engage in the activities that are scheduled for this month to the fullest. In promoting a more informed and healthier society, we demonstrate our dedication by supporting screenings, attending awareness sessions, and wearing pink. To those who are presently undergoing treatment for breast cancer, we stand with you. Your resilience and courage serve as sources of, of, of inspiration for our unwavering commitment to advocating for a future in which no individual is com compelled to confront this illness alone. As we commence this campaign, it is important to note that the initial step is to raise awareness. However, action must follow. We should be mindful of our own health, provide assistance to those in need, and make a positive impact on the world by ensuring that health equity and care is accessible to all. To conclude, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all those who contributed to the organization of this campaign, with special emphasis to our Gambia Defense and Security Forces partners, healthcare advocates, and media pra practitioners. We can ensure that breast cancer awareness and prevention remain at the forefront of our peacekeeping mission's priorities and make an enduring impact by working together. I am eager to witness the positive changes we will collectively effect. Thank you for your attention. Ably represented the first commander Ekumi Colonel Tori, the deputy first commander Colonel Nando, other contingent commander here present. I can cite my own dear commander, Lieutenant Colonel F. Manga, the Inspector General of Police, Gambia, and representative of all other service chiefs. May I kindly maintain the already established protocol. I am Captain A.S. Sule, the regimental medical officer, and I call nine economic equals mission in the Gambia. I'm here on behalf of the medical team. I'm a medical doctor by profession, and I'm a registrar in obstetrics and gynecology, and I have 
very great passion for women's health. I want to say I'm privileged to give this uh, lecture and to take the appropriate action when it occurs. King Kotoba, as you all know, is internationally recognized and is left for us to highlight the issues of breast cancer in the whole world. It's a month program as enumerated by uh, Major Hong. It started around 1965 by American Cancer Society and Pharmaceutical Company. And as a result of this awareness, breast cancer has been detected at an early and more treatable stage. However, here in Africa, we are still lagging behind. Our mothers in the villages, our sisters, our aunties, they don't know about breast cancer. And that is why we are here, to help them to carry the message to them. This brings me to the aim of this presentation, which is to create awareness among personnel of ECOMIC, ECOWAS mission in the Gambia, the Gambia Defense and Security Forces, the general public, on breast cancer early detection with a view of reducing breast cancer mortality or death in the Gambia. To achieve this aim, I shall be covering the following scopes. Statistics, anatomy of the breast, risk factors for breast cancer, symptoms of breast cancer, stages of breast cancer, screening methods to detect early cancer, breast self-examination, uh, clinical breast examination and diagnosis, treatment available, breast cancer facts and healthy lifestyle that can reduce your ability to get breast cancer. Breast cancer worldwide. And out of these 670 women died of breast cancer. Breast cancer, as our mother said, can also be found in men, 0.5 to 1%. And in Africa, it's the second cause of death among female cancer patients. In Africa, we are still battling with cervical cancer. Why the developed world have finished with cervical cancer? So breast cancer is the second most common uh, cancer in Africa. So out of every 100,000 African women, 31 of them are likely to develop breast cancer. I will come home to the Gambia. Gambia with a population of 2.42 million, according to the Gambia population census, released just recently. 1.2 million women are in Gambia. And out of these, we have 15%. The incidence rate of breast cancer is 15%, and the mortality rate exceeds 50%. That is to say that the prevalence rate among Gambia women, out of 100,000 women, 11 women will get breast cancer. A look at the anatomy of the breast. As the picture shows, the breast is a very sensitive and vital organ in a woman's life. As a young woman, the breast is important to attract opposite sex. As a mother, the breast is a source of food for a little baby, as depicted by this infant, our cousin brother. And the breast is also a source of comfort for our fathers. And it's a source of completeness for a woman. A distortion of anything that affects this breast will distort everything. The function of the breast. The young woman will not feel comfortable or attract the second uh, opposite sex. The babies in the home will not get breast to be to, to feed on. And their fathers, after returning from a hard home, they will not have comfort. And the mothers will no longer be complete if their breast is reduced. So what is breast? Anatomically, breast is a modified sweat gland. It's located in the subcutaneous tissue between the skin and the muscle of the chest. For those of you that don't know breast, this is breast. Either small or big, breast cancer affects all of them. As I said, if you remove the skin, this is the breast. You can see the... the um, the yellow color there, the subcutaneous tissue, and uh, the red is the tissue that uh, the breast rests on. And the breast extends into the armpit. So during breast examination, we also check the armpit for lymph nodes. 
The press anatomically is divided into four quadrants the upper lower, the inner quadrant, and the outer quadrant, upper and lower, so that our mothers will be able to examine it very well and know and not miss any law. What is breast cancer? Breast cancer is a malignant tumor that starts from the cells of the breast. And the breast, just like every other tissue, produces itself cells every day. So one of the cells can just go haywire and it will result to uh, metastasis that can go to other parts of the body. This is breast cancer. The picture by my right is a breast lung and with the good of further uh, uncontrollable malignant good, it has exceeded the tissues of the breast and spreading out. Breast can also metastasize into the brain, the lungs, the lymph nodes, the liver and the bones. And that is why once the breast cancer has left the breast, it has gone to any part of the body, there is no coming back. We can only salvage the process as doctors. The risk factors. Risk factors are things that predispose you to breast cancer because we don't know the cause of breast cancer. We only know that some things predispose you to uh, breast cancer. And these things are the ones that you can control and the ones you cannot control. So let's look at the ones that you cannot control. The first one there is your sex, the gender. If you are a, just like the statistics say, if you are a female, you have more chances of getting breast cancer than a male. If you are aged up to 40 years, you have chances of getting breast cancer. If you if you start menstruating early before your time, there will be a lot of hormones in your body to expose you to breast cancer. Menstruating before the age of 12 is early menarche. And then if you menstruate into your adulthood, up to 55 years, into menopause, then you also have a risk of breast cancer. Then if you are exposed to radiation, those working in radiation areas, you can also be predisposed. These ones are we cannot control. But the one that we can control is uh, inability of having children. Women are no longer interested in giving birth. They are not interested in making, in just living their lives. If you don't give birth, you predispose your breast to have breast cancer. Also, um, Women are suspending the ability to give birth. Most of our mothers give birth to us at the age of 20, 22 or so. You see women delaying birth to 35 years. If you do that, you allow estrogen to and progesterone to remain in your breast and cause you harm. The third is breastfeeding. You can control this one. Women are no longer breastfeeding. If you breastfeed your child for one year, you will have the risk of reducing breast cancer by 4%. So if you don't breastfeed, you're at risk. Then, uh, we want replacement therapy. There are women that have reached menopause, we give them estrogen and progesterone to help them cover for uh, the symptoms of uh, menopause. That can also predispose them to uh, breast cancer. And also, uh, obesity and the lack of exercise and the eating fatty foods can also to breast cancer. Symptoms, we need to tell our women to check their breasts so that we can screen them, they can know and come to the hospital on time so that we can detect any problem within the first and second stage. They look at the screening options. Most women, most young girls, they don't even believe that they can get breast cancer or develop breast cancer. So the time is now for us to talk to them. The time is now because early detection saves life. What are the screening methods? We are going to demonstrate a breast self examination for every woman here. Every month after your menstruation, you need to examine your breast and look closely. Then, clinical breast examination is done annually for those that come for checkup by a uh, healthcare provider. Then, mammography for those above 40, 35, 40 years, you need to be going to do mammography every year. And then, Whenever the lump is discovered, we look deeply with ultrasound and then magnetic resonance imaging scan. So this is a picture depicting a woman trying to examine her breast. 
and then breast examination, as, as I say, is just a checkup the woman does at home on her own. Uh, a woman is expected to stand in front of a mirror and look at her breast in the mirror, put her hand on her waist and look at her breast, put her hand on her head and also look at her breast, and then she put her hand here and check the various quadrants of the of the breast into the armpit and then she goes this way and she check like this and then express the nipple and then go down a typical example will be given we need to teach our mothers our old mothers they are at risk go home teach your mothers teach yourself how to do breast self-examination after this part of class Clinical breast examination, as I said, is done by we in the hospital. It's much more thorough and it is essential for early breast cancer detection and breast health assessment. It has the advantage of expertise, objectivity, thoroughness, and frequency over breast self examination. This is clinical breast examination being demonstrated. What are we looking for in breast self examination and clinical breast examination? We're looking for nipple retract retraction, discharge. Changes in skin color, such as dimpling, puckering, and skin that looks like an orange peel. Breast pain may also be a symptom. These are the various changes we are trying to look at when you do breast self-examination. The first line picture there shows skin changes that may occur. Then the second one shows if there is lump in the breast. And then the third one shows redness and various color changes that can appear if breast lump is in the breast. And then the last one, is nipple retraction. Your normal nipple is going back into the breast. It's a sign that something is pulling it inside. We must take a second look. Mammogram is like an x-ray. We take x-ray of the breast. We check if we can detect any abnormal tissue. This is the pictures you can see in the mammogram. The first and second picture there shows that the breast is normal, but the last two show that there's some a more of the sensitive here and something is going on in the breast and it needs to be looked at. I can put the cancer cells for after surgery if it has spread to stop uh, uh, growing and then chemotherapy and then uh, which are uh, toxic uh, uh, chemicals that is given to you to kill the cancer cells and then radiology. So this is example of surgery going on in the breast. You can do lumpectomy, mastectomy, removal of the breast, alone, and then radical mastectomy or removal of the breast and other uh, tissues. These typical examples of breast saving surgeries that can be done. You can see the man's breast has been removed in mastectomy, and the women's breast has been reduced uh, because of breast cancer. These are drugs, hormonal therapy that we can use to help in managing uh, breast cancer that respond to. And then this is a typical of a man undergoing chemotherapy. Some breast cancer on your side, like this. Then, for example, your breast growth, any patches, any redness, any changes in color, and also in your breast. Then you put your two hands on your head. That's your breast, your hands on both sides. Understanding you to continue the process of checking your breast. Check the breast or any changes to color, shape, or any other patches on the breast. Then we need to examine each of the breasts. Place one hand on your wrist. Then we use the pad on your fingers, your fingers, to start examining the breast. We start from the upper part of the breast. Examine the breast. Examine the breast. Examine the breast. Examine the armpits. Examine the areolas. Express the nipple. Next one, on your waist, the nipple is compressed. Then we use these properties as we start to examine the breast. Examine the breast, examine the nipple. Then you examine the armpits. You need to be aroma, examine the aroma, examine the nipple, then you get the breast. Next one, the breast. Then the breast is very nice.